newborn zebra foal needed rescue. Then his mother does this to his saviors. As a whole, we all know that baby animals are born clumsy the minute they're born. Compared to people, though, these babies are very adept at walking on their own during their first few hours of being born. This is exactly what happened to a baby zebra that was born at the Valencia Biopark in Spain. The birth of the baby zebra was a big event and the staff was filming the moment. What they didn't expect was that the baby would stumble and fall into the water. Here are some images captured during the exciting moment. The Valencia Biopark is home to many animals cheerfully living together. The park is found near a river called Turia, which currently houses a lovely botanical garden filled with a diverse collection of animal species. The zebra share their space amongst other animals such as rhinos and flamingos. Here, we see one of the zebras preparing to give birth. The mother zebra is named La Nina, which means the girl when translated from Spanish. She was being closely monitored when she gave birth so that park staff would be ready to help if anything went wrong, which was needed when the situation turned to the worst. The mother zebra was so exhausted in the process of giving birth that she could barely get up. Finally, the baby was coming out. It was a little male zebra. Although tiny, it was seemingly prepared to face its new surroundings. What the little one didn't expect was that he'd have to face the watering hole first. Generally, only minutes after being born, foals instinctively try to stand on their own and begin walking, usually headed to their mother's milk. Instead, this little guy was headed for a bath. Local reports showed footage of the baby zebra as it started to stand up. The infant waited to be licked clean by his mother, but perhaps because it was taking too long, he decided to take a bath instead. After freeing him from his umbilical cord, the tiny zebra went straight to the water. The mother was frantic. The newborn baby stumbled into the water and the video showed the mom making noises, but unable to walk faster to help her baby out of the water. She spent her energy giving birth, and she just watched in shock as her baby kept walking further into the water. The distraught mom had no clue what to do next when help arrived. She was visibly upset and impatient, and no one should interfere with a protective mother. The staff moved towards her direction, approaching the baby, which at this point appeared to have drowned. At that point, two zookeepers got into the water and rapidly responded transforming this disaster into an act of mercy and heroism. The video soon became viral as it was shared on the Biopark's own YouTube channel. In the video, the baby zebra can be seen making a ton of wailing noises as it soon realized that taking a bath was not such a good idea. The first thing you need to do when saving baby animals, based on Zookeeper 101, is to make sure that the mother won't attack the rescuer. The zookeeper splashed water towards the mother to stop her from approaching, giving them enough time to drag the newborn to shore. The young zebra was struggling to hold his head to the surface. At that point, the men approached him, attempting to help him. Shortly after they kept a close watch on the protective mother, they caught hold of the baby and were shocked to see the mom's reaction. At first glance, it was apparent that La Nina disliked how these individuals were touching her newborn. Instinctively, she felt compelled to save her baby not only from the water, but also from the two humans who were touching him. Yet at that point, she began to comprehend what the zookeepers were doing and quieted down. While the two men carried the small zebra as quickly as they could to the shore, the zookeeper on the right of the footage kept splashing water at the mother to let her know to stay back. A few seconds later, the zookeepers at last get to the shore. While the mother is left behind in the water, she does the most astonishing thing. A couple of moments later, the men fish the young zebra out of the water and with utmost care laid him on the sand. Once they saved the newborn, they needed to get out of the way quickly and allow the two zebras to reunite. The mother quickly jumped out of the water and approached. With the baby zebra finally safe on the shore, the zookeeper had to rush right back into the water to ensure they were safe and a long way from the distressed mother. She approached her newborn to check that he was okay, but that's not all. In the wild, this baby zebra wouldn't have survived a fall into the water. But in this situation, with the assistance from the zookeepers, the mother and her newborn are healthy and safe. 
The Biopark wrote an article about the event, saying that both the mother and the baby were progressing nicely. Here are some more photos and details about the two zebras. Everybody at the zoo who was there seeing the birth and the rescue of the baby zebra burst into applause. There was a significant crowd. Calamity was averted, heroes were lauded, and La Nina got a chance to continue watching her baby boy. Just look at them smiling at each other in pure joy. Both the mother and her baby, who hasn't been named yet, are doing very well. The newborn gets fed regularly, plus he's now discovered that swimming isn't for babies. He also knows how to remind his mother of just how beautiful he is. Just look at his little baby smile. The baby zebra's parents came from different countries. In 2007, La Nina arrived at the biopark from Halle Zoo, which is in Germany. His dad, Zambe, originated from France in 2012. He was from the safari in Pogre. It is likely that the baby inherited his dad's adventurous spirit. It may have seemed that the little zebra was small, however, it definitely was not. Like every single newborn foal, zebras are born developed and prepared to sprint into action. They're around 70 pounds, around 32 kilos, as an infant. As they reach adulthood, zebras become significantly bigger and heavier. Fortunately, the two men were not terrified of the size or of the mother who went into a frenzy when she saw the zookeepers approach the baby. In the end, everything turned out well for the baby, who discovered that the watering hole is for grown-ups only. La Nina's son may have had a rough beginning, but he's now living a very healthy existence with his mother and the herd, all because of the work of two heroic zookeepers. The little zebra was very fortunate to have been supervised by the heroic zookeepers who were not dissuaded by his size or by the mother zebra who could have harmed them for getting near her child. Let's now see how the baby zebra is doing. Biopark Valencia shared on their Facebook page that the mother and baby zebra are currently flourishing along with the rest of the zebras in their enclosure. The baby zebra is around seven months old now, so he's finally big enough to learn how to properly swim. We totally get it. All mothers, regardless of what species they are, want to protect their babies. One great example is sea otters, where the mothers teach newborn pups the right way to swim after birth. It's thanks to Susie Esterhaz, a nature photographer, that we were given a glimpse into a caring mother otter who lifted her puppy on top of her to keep him warm over the water. And after their nap, she then proceeded to give the pup his first lesson. The mother otter even blows into her pup's hair to clean it. She then floats peacefully with him in the busy Monterey Bay Harbor in California, where Asteresis was busy taking photos. The otter left the photographer in shock. The otter stunned Asteris when she brought her baby beside the boat. Directly before me, she scrounged for sustenance, Asteris remarked. She said she felt like an otter babysitter. Usually, otters with pups are extremely shy and stay away from humans. However, Asteris said she will never forget the beautiful moment when this mother trusted her with her most valuable treasure, her newborn.